Hey everyone, Tanya here from Rewired Therapy. I am a nurse, the founder of Rewired Therapy to help survivors of abuse and a survivor myself. Today we're going to explore a polyvagal theory exercise. Essentially what we're gonna do is try and practice eye contact. Now eye contact can be a complex thing for people who have survived abuse or for people who have PTSD. And that's because Either eye contact can be comforting because it's a source of attunement and it allows us to connect with another human, which is so important for the healing process. Or the flip side is that eye contact has been a source of trauma in the past and is very difficult for survivors of PTSD or abuse to maintain eye contact because it feels like a threat. It feels like it's threatening, it's scary, and it causes extreme discomfort, and it's even triggering. So today, what I can invite you to do is let's first check in with our body and see if we're ready to practice some eye contact. If you do feel like it, then we can go ahead and practice it and see how that feels in your body, what comes up. The goal and the intention would be to slowly but surely become at peace with eye contact and eventually get to the point where eye contact and connecting with someone through vision and through the eyes is a source of comfort. Let's first check in with our body so we can put our hands together or put your hands wherever you want to and simply ask your feet to your head how your body is feeling and what's coming up in your body. So feet, how are you feeling today? We can notice any sensations that are coming up in our feet. We can notice if our feet are feeling numb or tingly or dissociated, or if they're feeling safe or unsafe, pleasant or unpleasant. And then we can go ahead and ask the rest of our body, knees, how are you feeling? Thighs, pelvis and buttocks, how are you feeling? Back, stomach and chest, how are you feeling? How's our heart feeling? How's our neck and throat feeling? Our shoulders, our arms, and our hands, how are you feeling? Our head and our face, eyes, ears, nose, and mouth, how are we feeling? When we have checked in with our body and we have decided that we want to go ahead and do this exercise, and you can have the freedom to do it. You'll notice that as much as possible, I'm going to make continuous eye contact with the camera so that we can practice this eye contact together. Research has shown that eye contact through Zoom and through video is very similar to eye contact in person. Obviously it's not the same, but it does have some similar results. So we can go ahead and practice together whenever you're ready. See how when you look directly into my eyes and I look directly into yours, how that feels. Does that come up with a sense of attunement and caring? Does that come up with a sense of feeling unsafe or threatened? What comes up for you? If it's challenging, then you can go ahead and maintain it for as long as you feel comfortable. Continue maintaining this eye contact. If it's not challenging and it feels comforting, or soothing to have eye contact, then you go ahead and simply attune to your nervous system and allow the eye contact to be a source of comfort to you. So let's go ahead and give a nice 30 seconds or so of continuous eye contact and see what comes up in your experience. Often in our day and age, it's difficult to have continuous eye contact. So this is something that's really interesting to practice and to see if it makes us feel more calm, more uncomfortable and how we respond to it. Definitely in those with a nervous system that's fearful of eye contact, it's good to practice this. You can come and revisit this video at any time to practice the eye contact that I'm making. If you do find that it's actually soothing for your nervous system, that's another good thing to go ahead and practice eye contact with someone that you trust and someone that is attuned to you, or you can always play this video as well if that's not an option. Wishing you a beautiful day. I hope you found this video helpful. Have a good one.